the yolk in rod connection is subjected to a tensile force of 24 keep at one end, which is this end. Determine the average normal stress in each rod and the average shear stress in the pin between them. If all if all made of the same material with tensile strength of tensile strength of 50 ksi and shear strength of 30 ksi, which part will potentially fail first when the load is further increased? Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Also, mark the like button, comment, and share our video, and you get 10 years of good luck. Try it; it works. All right. Without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to call this rod as rod one and this rod as rod two, and you have a pin, a pin right here. So this is a double shear, double, uh, double shear. When you pull this apart, you will have one uh, shear stress this side and the other shear stress on this side. Okay, so you have two shear stresses. All right, so here is what we have the uh, normal, the tensile strength of uh, 50 KSI and you can call it uh, whatever letter you like uh, like the left it at N represent normal force okay shear strain V as 30 KSI you're given P2 which is 24 keep and you ask to find P1 okay so for part A the normal stress in rod 2 is equal to N over normal force divided by the area what the what is the area of rod 2 is 1 pi over 2 times is pi over 4 times the diameter squared so you have pi over 4 times 1 1 1 quarter is 1.25 okay and what is the force the force is 24 kip which is 24,000 pounds and you bunch this in cal into calculator, it gives you 19,557 psi, okay? That is for the normal stress in rod 2. Uh, let's see. Determine, determine the average normal stress in each rod, okay? So we're done with this one. Now, what is the normal stress in rod 1? Let me move this up. So the normal stress in rod 1, same process, same formula, e normal stress is equal to normal force divided by the area. Okay, again, the force is uh, 24,000. Let me pause right here. Okay, so let's assume P, uh, P1 is the same as P2, which is 24 keep. Okay, so so uh looking down here guys okay so normal stress in rod one is equal to 24,000 pounds divided by pi over four times the diameter which is one half squared uh doing this calculation it gives you 13,581 psi okay so that is the, mo the normal stresses in rod one and two now to find the shear stress of the pin this is, again shear stress is equal to the shear force divided by the area of the pin okay and the shear force so you have a double shear double so you have a pin uh pin joint of double shear so you have to divide by this you have to divide the shear force by two and the area is equal to pi over four times oh, diameter of the pin which is one inch okay so to put this in calculator you would get 15,279 pounds and that is the shear stress of the pin now if the normal strength is equal to 50 ksi then for rod 1 the normal stress is equal to 50,000 pounds divided by the area same area as we work up here pi over 4 times 1.5 squared that gives you 28,284 psi for rod 2 same formula but dif uh, same force but different diameter so again doing this calculation gives you 40,744 psi that is the case if normal so these are the stresses normal stresses for the case that normal strength is equal to 50 psi now what is the shear 
stress when the shear strength is equal to 30 ksi? Well, the shear stress is equal to shear force divided by the area. Shear force, you have double shear, so you have divided by the you have to divide the shear strength by two, divide by the area area of the pin uh, of the pin of one inch diameter is equal to pi over four times one's weight. It gives you 19,099 psi. Okay. So for the conclusion, because because uh, the shear stress is less than both of the normal stresses, so the pin whose its diameter is one inch will fail first. Okay, that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.